Yep. <laughs> Re- remember, remember to use the flipped, uh, the flipped. Uh, oh yeah. Overlay as we head here yep. into game one of what is currently the top eight. Let's have a look over the two OP lineup here, as we're still in the winners bracket. Two OP fielding Rita's Yu Yang. This is reload a little bit of torpedo skill and radar. Flandra mm-hmm. Scarlet's daring. Gun reload RPF. Bads Marceau, again, gun reload, and all of the speedy boy things, a little bit of RPF, adrenaline rush, and that sort of thing. Um, Iced Machilate, unique upgrade Des Moines with RPF. Iron Ibuki Salem, as they're going to have a little collision here. Salem Oops. running range and radar. On the right, Contrails and Napoli. Uh, fairly typical, running outnumbered to go with his main gun reload and accuracy mod back in slot three. Howells Petropavlovsk, range, RPF, and so on. And then two battleships, the other Contrail. I'm going to get these wrong because we have Contrail underscore and then just Contrail. So it's like, let me figure out how to separate separate these guys, but whatever. Um, the battleship Contrail going uh, double artillery plotting and uh, brisk fire prevention and extra heal. And mm-hmm. over on the other side of the map here, we got Flippy's Poison. No secondaries, all main yep. battery skills here, along with Brisk again. What do you got down south, Zath? Yeah, I think we should call Contrail uh, the Napoli under Contrail, just to, you know, because I like it. Underscore. I like it. All right, so no cap. Currently sending three assets over to the Charlie side. They've got 3x bank account in a Cots build gearing with all the torpy torps. Lothair in a Cots build Des Moines without numbered instead of radio location. Interesting. Uh, there's our Kerger Bing in the Schlieffen. Now this is a mostly secondary build Schlieffen. Other than the mod six, he's chosen for reload. I like that idea. Usually main guns do do better work than secondaries. Um, going towards the middle is uh, aggro in the Z42, uh, your typical kind of a destroyery build. One for one gaming in a Des Moines unique upgrade and top grade. Mr. Bean PhD in a reload Salem with radar, also with radar enhancement. Uh, DG Pitbull and the St. Vincent is backing them all up in a typical St. Vincent build of get someplace fast and shoot at things. Uh, Microaggressions in the Harugumo 420 Blaze build with, uh, re- with a range upgrade. And then finally, we've got Apetron in a Des Moines with unique upgrade and top grade gunner. That should round out the deal as look at how aggressive uh, Burger King is going with the Schlieffen. Yeah, he wants it his way at B's Zath, if he can make it happen. But the Marceau is already dived C. He'll be have that cap and be on his way in seconds as the Yang and Daring pair heading to A for 2 OP. They should be able to grab and run very quickly as well. Mm-hmm. 2 OP looking for an early, a very early aggressive kind of, you know, let's get in here and score some points while we... While we try and defend these caps, early radar coming out from one for one's Des Moines going to pick up both of these destroyers. Rita's in the cap. Yep. Maybe trying uh, to get as, behind this island. As a reminder, Hobbin Liu and Kremlin banned in this game. Gonna pull Rita gonna pull the handbrake and take some big pens from the St. Vincent anyway. There goes a quarter of the yep. HP. Kinda hurts. Kinda hurts. Yep. Don't think they don't think she can sustain in there. No, it doesn't look like it. Radar no, still Moines, ticking. Yeah, Des Moines continues to approach with the Z-52 screening him with smoke. Good good teamwork for no cap there. Second St. Vincent Salvo coming in on the daring now. Not quite as big an impact as it was on the Yu Yang. Mm-mm. So the speed dive of the C cap works for two OP, but no cap manages to blunt the speed dive over at the A cap. And now with two destroyers on this uh-oh, flank. Uh-oh. Atron puts another radar up, catches Hanel again, Rita. Yep. Problematic. There'll be a lot more shells coming in now. They didn't know that Des Moines was there, I don't think. Uh, nope, they know now. <laughs> yeah. There are, <laughs> six, there there are six ships on this side of the map. Des Moines starting to lose the ability to follow Rita, but it's not It's going to come. Oh, man. Rita's it's- at 500. 580 health. Nope, here it comes. Oh. No, 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 it's not. Goodness gracious. Wait, 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 St. Vincent. 
Nope. Oh. Rita's going to sneak Rita away. No, they're all astern. Too late. They're fishing because they know. They saw the health. They know how low that ship is. Oh, yeah. Now, Yang can still be impactful in a match with those deep water torpedoes and the range they have, but man, that cannot feel good. And I'll tell you what, out of the if, fight. You're, if you're Rita, you're really wishing you took a drill and rush right about now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're really wishing. On the other side, 3X Bank account taking some big hits there. The gearing. Howells Petro Montreal. putting his radio up to pick him up. Keep him lit. Get shells down mm -hmm. range on bank account. Maybe, maybe try and secure Ooh. a kill. There was a good hit. Very good hits. Very good hits. Marceau shells start to fall in as the radar expires. Another salvo coming in, but it fall falling astern. Bank account escapes on about 40% of his starting HP. Yeah. Burger King Schlieffen now the one trying to cap B, believe it or not, Zass, sticking his stern in as they push Ibuki Salem back off the cap. I like the idea of going stern in instead of bow in there. Mm. Um, but it's interesting, both teams having, you know, really low destroyers in the initial engagements on opposite sides of the map. Yeah. Commence toilet bowl. Yep. <laughs> yep. No cap shoving a tremendous amount of firepower into this gap in between A and B. They should be able to easily secure control of both caps at some point. They grab B. You have to believe it's only a matter of time before they try to make a play for A. Yes, they are going to hold that channel for the Dominion. All right, well, Flounder Scarlet detecting all these torpedoes from the Hargamo before they get close to Machalate's Des Moines. Doesn't matter because Apetron's Des Moines radar is back. Yeah, but Good luck with that. Macha's, I mean, Macha's got a hard cover to port. Nobody's going to be able to get, so they're going to be able to splash some HE on the deck if they want it. That's not going to be a thing. Shell's going in on the daring instead. No, yeah, that's the big thing. That is absolutely the bigger thing. Yep. All yeah. kinds of and deep water. Meanwhile, Go ahead. I was going to say, Rita, I was just looking where, where Rita is, and far away. -ish. Oh, yeah. Still ahead of that radar. I'm a little surprised, I guess right now, I see that they'd move the daring up to get the conga line torps down range on the DM. Yep. Those have all missed now. They'll probably, mm -hmm. presumably they'll smoke, I'm guessing micro smoke is ready. Yep. He'll turn and continue to smoke the Des Moines north, closer mm -hmm. to closer to Macha. I'm still a yep. little surprised that aggro's, aggro has not gone for the A cap. Looks like maybe now that play is finally occurring. Yeah. Um, I think the decision for no cap was to take their time and make sure they've isolated their opponents or at least know where their opponents are before starting to move their board pieces. Mm, that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. It certainly is reasonably cautious. I mean, you two piece out to an early lead on the back of that, that quick Marceau cap over at sea, right? Yep. Now, speaking of the Marceau, have a look at his positions at. This is very bold. Uh, very yep, just, bold. Just scrolling over to look at that, and he has no idea this Marceau is here. Hasn't been spotted or anything. Well, I mean, the Marceau hasn't been spotted. The Schlieffen is spotted. He probably doesn't know how. It's, there's nobody. All, I mean, he has to suspect because where, who else is going to spot him? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at it, let's look at it through their lens real briefly. Unless he's shooting his guns. Oops, uh, it's number three, I believe. Yep. Is it go. three? Okay, it's three. three. There <laughs> it's we been go. so long since yeah. we've done this. Yeah. Yep. I mean, if the sail, he would know if the Salem had him on hydro, right? Oh, uh, yep. They're focusing out ice matcha now. Yep. I think um, if he's shooting at the Preuss and Flippy, then he's obviously detected that way too. If he's using his main guns. He does take at least two of those Marceau torpedoes, so he knows now for sure. The Marceau has pushed up. Yep, and there's the Hydro like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hydro's like, well, I guess I should put this up now. They're Flandre gonna back. goes down, too. Two big yep. kills for big, no cap. Two big kills that felt inevitable, have felt inevitable on this flank for a while. Apetron not coming off for free, though. Mm -mm. I think it was the Poison or the Vermont. I'm not sure which of them got that salvo in, but somebody smacked him for about half his HP. Yep. He does have the heal, though. 
All right, Zath, you're 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 in two OP shoes. Now what? Start thinking about what to, what to do for the next game. No, I'm kidding. Ouch. Um, at the, at this point, well, and I say that just because, look, Marceau is now about to die on the other side. Um, they're they're at the point where two OP simply doesn't have an easy way back in. The, what is the, the Marceau sleeping, doing? Why, how did he allow himself? Maneuver. I don't how, know. How did he allow himself to get to here? That's awkward. And so, you know, I, I meant no offense at all. Yeah. Right. When when you asked me that question, absolutely no offense meant when I said that. I looked at the mini map. I saw the Marceau yoloing the Des Moines, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, have they already decided this game is done? Because in my opinion, that's why that Marceau would be shape would be would be charging. Otherwise, it makes no sense to me. Yeah. Um. Anyways. For, for 2OP, here's what I would do. Petra Pavlovsk, one job, ram the Schlieffen. That's it. Go ram get, the Schlieffen. Get him out. Russian you, torpedo. Do you think you Done. can? I mean, you're, you're trying to ram a torpedo-armed battleship that has very good torpedo angles. I mean, again, at this point, you got to get that ship out to at least get you some flexibility to maneuver and do other things while, while under Contrail is too busy dealing with the Lothair and... and uh, bank account all the way down the nine line, right? Yeah. This is their opportunity to move that Petropavlovsk. When Contrail's dead, and I say when because you know it's going to happen, right? When he's dead, Petro's the next target for that group down there. Yeah. So this is the window for Howell to get moving. You send Howell in, you have him just just go for the ramp. Don't even try for the drive-by. I know it looks cool and sexy when you make the drive-by and it works, but like you said, it's a torpedo arm battleship. It's going to be really hard to do the drive-by. Crash right into him. If you're playing COTS, you should be running ram flags. Everybody should be having ram flags on. Use the Russian torpedo. Be done with it. And, and I, maybe then Salem can maneuver a little bit. Vermont can maneuver a little bit, you know. Petro now pushing the Schlieffen with his hydro not turned on. I think not he's, a problem. I think he's going to regret this decision. The torpedoes are already in the water. Well, he gets detected and he stops. Yeah, I don't understand this play at all. No, 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 no. You have but one chance here. Now he puts the Hydro up, but it's too late. He's going to try to reverse? He's, he's already cut his speed. He's going to take three torpedoes. Oh, my goodness. He's trying to help support his friend that gets the Des Moines and bank account. If he wanted that, he shouldn't have moved up. He could have done that from where he was. Yeah. Also, we, we missed out um, Mr. Bean PhD just getting slapped out from, I think it was the Vermont... They got That's somebody, no but they're gonna they're gonna get this Petro in seconds. They do grab the Des Moines down there finally at long last. Yay! But the Petro is dead. I mean, it's only a matter of time. He's gonna go from full health to annihilated in seconds here, as so, he's gonna well, burn to the waterline. From experience, guys, what I think just happened here was Howell either decided himself, "I'm gonna go ram this Leafin," because it's kind of like what we were talking about, right? Ooh. You're at the point where desperation plays are what's needed, or he was told to go do that and then countermanded by the caller. Mm -hmm. Nope. You got to go kill this. All guns on this. Who can kill him? Get him killed. So, it happens. Three ships down, 300 points behind. Does not look good for 2 OP. Now, they have a couple mm -mm. of low ships, but they're destroyers, and bank accounts should never get spotted again unless he screws up. Right. They have no way to spot aggro unless he screws up. All the right. radar cruisers are dead. Right. Yep. Flippy and the Preussen is next uh, target. He's He'll just going to get himself armed out. He'll be out in seconds. He's going to try and take the Harugamo with him. He's going to do some good work, but it's not going to be oh, enough. Oh, yeah. Nice hit. Drive the Vermont into B. Schlieffen torpedoes coming in. Should seal this deal. He's going to take about five of these. Whatever it is, it's going to be enough. Uh-huh. Well, Zaf, that's a pretty mm. solid win from no cap here from the south spawn of Shatter. Yep, Rita opening up. I mean, they know it's done. That's it. Yeah. GG. This is so. this is this is one of those. Look, call call the call the call the wipe and get on to the next game. I I gotta say I appreciate the wipe guys. One, it it, it helps us catch up a little bit. But two, honestly, it's good sportsmanship at this point. You know, yeah. it's done. There's no reason to drag it out. You know. Yeah, kind of is. Solid win from NoCap here, Zath. They're looking good. 
have to see what 2OP does in response here as we head over to game two. Yeah, let me do my updating over here. Yeah. So, just got no mine finished wins. up. 